The Global Air and Space Chiefs Conference is important every year. Uh, I've been opening the proceedings here for the past three years, and, and this one really counts. Uh, there's so much going on in the world right now. There's so many challenges we face. We've talked about the, the climate, we've talked about Ukraine, we've talked about working together. And if there was ever a time for Global Air and Space Chiefs to gather, convene, and discuss those challenges, it's right now. This year's Global Air and Space Chiefs Conference has had so many highlights for me. The word we hear all the time is together, uh, the importance of working together to get things done. Another thing that I'll remember and take away with me is actually how interconnected we are. We heard earlier that actually being here in London, we're closer to Beijing than the Chief of the Australian Air Force is in Sydney. Um, and we've seen how, we've discussed how close Ukraine is to our borders. Um, you go on a short holiday for three hours away and that's how far Kiev is. So to me, it was, it was just bringing to life how the, the challenges that may appear to be far away are actually really close to home. This year's Global Air and Space Chief Conference has been so important because of the challenges that we're facing around the world at the moment. Here in Europe with the crisis in Ukraine, the war in Ukraine, but also in our part of the world, the Indo-Pacific region and, and, the, and the, the balance of power that we seek to retain there. But it's also been a fantastic opportunity to welcome Sir Rich into the role of Chief of Air Staff and, and he just did a fabulous job hosting his first Air Chiefs Conference here. My biggest highlight from the, the Global Air and Space Chiefs Conference is that what we're seeing in the Ukraine should never happen again. We shouldn't fight a war like that, which has really reinforced the importance of air power and making sure that we can maintain air superiority to, so that our ground forces do not have to fight trench warfare like we saw in World War I. Well, this year's Global Air and Space Chiefs Conference is a unique opportunity for me uh, to provide some discussions about space power and how it's important that it integrates with the global community with, with air power itself. And I've really taken advantage of meeting with all the other air chiefs and service chiefs to make sure that they understand how the Space Force is here to help and integrate and build partnerships. I love the fact that this is a community. It's a community of like-minded nations. It's a community of military professionals. And we are all interested in maintaining stability and security, deterring aggression, uh, and sharing best practices and lessons learned so that we can all do our jobs better in pursuit of those goals, just an amazing opportunity.